where there's no further coronavirus infections and uh, we have one person in home isolation in the Darling Downs health area. So that's uh, once again uh, shows tremendous uh, credit to those who've been so disciplined and those of us who are working so hard. But that's not by good luck or good fortune, that's through the good work of the community. Everyone who has taken the directions of the Chief Health Officer very seriously uh, and also followed the, the lead of the National Cabinet. So it's very important that we continue that work. But can I congratulate the community for everything that they've done to make us safe. Yeah, one of the biggest issues that we have in the agricultural sector at the moment is logistical support of getting our region's food product into global uh, export markets. There is still demand for our uh, products and most businesses are still finding opportunity to operate e extremely well at the moment in the ag sector you know, with the uh, caveat that they are coming off a drought uh, of last year and so are still recovering from that. There is a uh, announcement soon to be made, either today or tomorrow, from the Federal Government on the detail of an international freight subsidy that will support nine airlines and freight forwarders to get more product and more flights happening to get our regional product into uh, export markets. Uh, we just hope that is very evenly spread um, between the airports uh, around uh, Australia uh, and particularly here in Wellcamp uh, to make sure that our regional food uh, producers have access to those subsidised flights with subsidised road freight by having it in our region as well. The vast majority of the world's uh, food freight actually goes what we call underbelly or underneath the feet of passengers. Due to the lack of passenger flights that freight capacity has uh, now dramatically reduced. Um, so we're having to charter flights and we're seeing um, freight costs be up to 300 times more expensive than they were uh, prior to uh, the COVID-19 and reduction in passenger flights, making it in some ways unaffordable to hit some markets. This subsidy will allow us to hit back into those markets and maintain those uh, relationships. Uh, we just hope that it is uh, applicable to our region's producers and has flights uh, out of our region to make sure it's easy for us here. Flight prices have gone from up to $2,500 per um, pallet up to $13,000 or more per pallet so um, they are doing everything they can to maintain relationships and in some cases they have just pulled out of markets. We've been able to track around about 100 tonne per week of produce that is not leaving our region now because it is unviable to do so due to current freight rates. Rest assured that everyone is doing everything they can to get freight planes going because people around the world need to have Darling Downs fresh produce on their plates. Agriculture is a major part of the economy here agricultural export, agricultural production, agricultural employment, it's all part of who we are.